I'm with uh, Morgan Scoddard, uh, eight caps for Wales, um, a Scarlet player for, for many years, but uh, unfortunately, uh, due to injury, has uh, had to retire from the game. And that's part of the discussion today is, is probably dealing with injuries and uh, you know, dealing with the setbacks that um, Morgan has, uh, has gone through over the years. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for taking part, Morgan. Um, you've sustained obviously a lot of injuries over your career, um, a lot of them have been quite serious. Um, <coughs> What say? What would you say is probably the biggest mental challenge that you've had to overcome, you know, as a result of these injuries? Um, yeah, I've had two pretty serious, but two very serious injuries uh, during my career. Once my knee, and then uh, just last year was my uh, when I broke my leg, my tip fib. Um, for me, the most challenging times was initially after the after the injury occurred. So it'd be the time where you couldn't actually do any training. You was kind of just sitting on the sofa and basically just thinking about what could have been, or just obviously thinking how bad your luck is and things like that. So that would be that was the most that was the worst time for me. Uh, how, how do you overcome that there in terms of you know because you, <coughs> there's the initial disappointment obviously, uh, but ultimately you're a professional rugby player and you want to get back on the field. Um, like doing that process, you know, I mean. How did you, how do you focus on where you wanted to be? Was that be, you know because maybe the people you had around you or goals that you set? And if, if if you did set goals, what type of goals? Yeah, I think personally I found it. Um, I didn't really set any long-term goals, but uh, with the physios and the scarlets, they um, came to me with a plan, and we made uh, like a fortnightly fortnightly plan with obviously small goals or like progressions in your training that you'd obviously try and achieve within those two weeks and then obviously you could move on which kind of like short term goal setting and I just found concentrated on the two week cycle and then obviously as you build up and all of a sudden you've done two or three months where you know it. So you set yourself somewhere where you wanted to be in terms of your rehab and, and, and you know you're wanting to get back to fitness so every two weeks so you had pretty simple goal that you, you, you'd look to reach and then reset them for the following fortnight. Well, as it was doing strength work on the leg or you know, something simple as a couple of hops or extra distance on the extra distance on the hop or power yeah. on the jump. It was just ba all basic stuff, but it was obviously enabling us to move on and set new goals in, in a couple of weeks' time.